Hello and welcome to Arabian Reseller. Uh, we are speaking today to Antoine from Kingston. Uh, we will be talking about uh, the role of storage uh, in data centers. So Antoine, uh, thank you for speaking to us today. Thank you, Chris. So we'll start with a brief about uh, uh, the growth of data centers in this region. What sort of use cases are driving the growth of data centers? Okay, first is the need for computing capacity driven by many people working from home now. Uh, for many businesses and institutions. Uh, digital infrastructure has never been so important in our life earlier. Uh, second, the increase in usage of digital application in video calling uh, and in telehealth, e-learning, alongside uh, those for entertainment, uh, as many people are spending more time indoor watching Netflix and YouTube and other social media. This are causing a surge in need for data capacity and require also data centers. Okay, uh, so when we speak about the role of 5G, how is 5G driving uh, edge computing and how important is edge computing these days? Uh, 5G is important in response to our continual increasing demand for data uh, in both private and enterprise uh, environment. We always want data to be fast and accessible uh, by doing so, we not only consume, but uh, also create more data. In the past, we used to send all the produced data to huge server farms to be stored or processed, which are also known as uh, the cloud. So uh, the cloud has two consequences. Uh, it requires a huge amount of bandwidth and the latency, uh, the time it takes for data to reach the user. Uh, bringing the data closer to the edge uh, make it possible to manage the flow of data better to the user. Instead of having the, to connect to the hyperscale to download a series, the data gets cached in the edge data center closer to them. So the data only need to travel from the edge facility to the end user. This allow much faster response as the data only need to travel short distance. <laughs> okay, so when we talk about the uh, impact of edge computing and data, uh, you know, 5G on data centers, what kind of trends have you seen? Well, today most of development of edge uh, of network uh, sites are driven by telecommunication provider uh, in the form of micro data center. They have the infrastructure in place. Uh, they will be the pioneer in edge, actually, the telecommunication company. Behind them uh, comes the commercial data center companies and uh, data with 5G will be quite different from the current data center. They are smaller and require less power. Uh, they will be aligned with communication and storage of data mostly on SSD. We at Kingston Technology has been uh, developing memory and storage solution to handle the volume uh, and the speed. Okay. Uh, in terms of the data explosion that we are witnessing right now, especially over the past few months with people working from home, some of them working from office and, uh, you know, co-locating, uh, you know, co-working uh, from various places. Um, how are companies adopting to this data explosion and what sort of challenges uh, are these companies facing? Okay, usually it takes years between the announcement of the new technology uh, and the moment that it's being made available to the public. 5G uh, network has been a focus topic for several years, I guess. So the massive deployment was expected to be in 2020, but due to pandemic and other reason, uh, it was postponed. Uh, companies now had enough time to evaluate the impact uh, that it has on their existing resources during the pandemic. Many of them already started now to invest on new equipment or to upgrade the existing one to fulfill the big demand for data and for uh, to get the speed uh, required. Uh, in terms of solutions and products that Kingston offers in this market, um, you know, for data centers, can you give us a brief about the new products you've launched this year? Uh, what is the outlook for 2021? Well, Kingston offer a wide range of enterprise uh, class SSD and server memory. Uh, it's uh, suitable for uh, several generation of server and adapted to different application. Uh, our engineer also, they are, we are helping the corporate uh, corporation and their customer to meet the, the performance needed and the quality required with very consistent tested memory and SSD. 
For enterprise and server environment, uh, at the moment we offer uh, many uh, type of uh, solution actually. First is uh, we have our uh, DC series, DC 500R, which is focused uh, on read centric uh, data center. And uh, the capacity, it varies between 480 gigabytes up to 3.8 terabytes. Uh, the read and write is really like uh, very fast. The read is around 560 megabit per second and the write is 520 megabit per second. Next, we have the DC500M, which is more for mixed use uh, workload. Uh, also, the capacity varies between 480 to 3.8 uh, terabyte with the same type of speed, like 560 megabit per second for read and 520 megabit per second uh, for write. Uh, lately, actually, we have introduced our DC 1000M, uh, which will be our 2.5 inch uh, U.2 PCIe NVMe SSD. Uh, the capacity that we offer, it goes up to 7.68 gigabyte, uh, actually, of so a terabyte of storage. Uh, and then the read and write is around uh, 3,200 megabits uh, for read and 2,000 megabits per second uh, for write. And if you need more details, actually, we can also uh, log into our website, which is www.kingston.com, and then you will have more information about this. Okay. Uh, in terms of 2021, what kind of focus areas do you have? What sort of, um, you know, are you looking at new markets? Are you looking at new industry verticals? Um, what's your plan? Well, in terms of 2021, of course, uh, we're looking to expand to more countries, uh, especially like uh, Africa region. And then um, uh, also we expect to grow in Saudi Arabia in uh, so many countries within the region. Uh, our, uh, like, uh, we have some challenges actually uh, to provide us to expand more uh, in 2021 so far which is, of course, the pandemic and the COVID-19 situation. So uh, as a policy, the company, we are restricted to travel outside, uh, uh, to travel at the moment. So uh, this is one of the objectives that we might uh, not be able to fulfill. But of course, uh, with the new technology that everything will be done uh, through a video call, uh, most probably this is what we will be doing. And of course, Kingston will be focused more and more on uh, to develop the enterprise solution uh, by introducing more SSD and more memory to uh, data center. Uh, thank you, Anfon, for speaking to Arabian Reseller. It was nice having you with us today. All right, no problem. No problem. No. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, Bye. Bye. See you.